Hey guys, I want to talk you through how to install this plugin called Synth1 that is one of the most popular plugins on the KVR plugin website. Um, basically, if you visit this website here and click on the download link for your operating system, it takes you here to the Japanese page of Synth1 and you click here on the download, or download link and download this um, latest version which I'll click on and save. Once that's downloaded, you navigate to the folder in which it's saved and double click on the zip file. If like me you've got a 7-zip or another zip file manager there, you'll get that kind of view. Uh, if you don't, you probably open it in Windows Explorer and it will look like this. Then what you do is basically you want to extract this to a certain folder. The folder you want to move it to is um, on your C drive, program files, Steinberg VST plugins folder and that's where we tend to install all our VST plugins for use in Reaper. You see I've got the Tal Noise Maker in that folder and a few others. Essentially now that folder exists I can just drag the Synth1 folder across into it and it says I'll need admin privileges to do that. I'll say continue please. And eventually it copies everything in the zip file into that folder. Now this is important, you run the init settings.exe file and click yes and just say yes to everything, okay. Now you don't don't worry if this reg to any file is removed by your antivirus. One of my students had that issue. Uh, you don't need that unless you're updating from a previous version of this plugin, I believe. So we won't worry about that file at all. Now that we've done that, let's go into Reaper. Um, let's go into Preferences, Control P, and head down to the plugins VST area. And just make sure that that particular folder program files slash Steinberg VST plugins is listed in the path of plugins. Um, it is for me. Um, if not, you have a semicolon, you add it in there and say OK. Now let's have a look here. Insert virtual instruments and you notice the synth one is not there because I'm pretty sure I had Reaper open when I installed it just then. So I'm going to go back to preferences and I'm going to rescan and it just found it right then. So I'm going to right click here, insert virtual instrument on a new track and I'll choose the 64-bit version of the VST Synth 1. The x86 is for a 32-bit but we'll do the higher bit version and now it's loaded. Now an important thing you might find uh, when you first load this, it may not find the, um, the plug-in settings uh, so basically, go in to browse the, um, the folder, you're setting the Synth1 folder to Soundbank 0. And the other thing you want to do is to do with external um, Soundbanks. And essentially, you're going to be looking in this external.zip factory presets. And then you'll find these various different presets such as the marimba. Yeah, let's do view, virtual piano which is the same as Alt-B and then you can play that sound and have a listen. So basically you can change between presets, listen to those sounds, the piano. Sounds a bit like an electric piano. You might find some use in having these various instruments. So all the best, good luck.